Good morning, guys. Um, I'm back in Corpus because I came to pick up my friend Tim. He, um, I'm gonna take him to Houston to pick up a GTI. Um, so yeah, I got last night I had just gotten to San Antonio from Austin, I mean from Corpus. And I came back last night, same day. Um, I really should have just stayed by my. Uh, but yeah. Alright, guys, so just got here. Cars right there. Hey! much the same. This is a what, 2012 I think? 2013? Got his golf, his GTI. He's uh behind me, or it's gonna be behind me. Hold on. Oh yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Now I got a trip back to San Antonio, about three, three and a half hours, I think. No, three hours. Well, three and a half, maybe with traffic or whatever. But I'll catch you guys. San Antonio. It's a pretty nice day out. Um, it's 3.30 in the afternoon, no traffic. It would be nice if uh, people didn't ride the fast lane. You know, but whatever. Still got about three hours left of this, so just wanted to check in. Raceway. About 30 minutes from home. It's been a nice little cruise. My AC stopped working as if it wasn't blowing, you know, cold already. It wasn't really blowing all that well. <coughs> it's not it's blowing, but it's not blowing cold anymore, so maybe she just needs free on. I don't know, but that's uh that's great now i have another car with no ac but we'll get it fixed here this weekend soon hopefully all right guys we're home um i'm very tired and we're well, not tired just kind of i don't know like annoyed i guess it was a badass little cruise but i was by myself so it was kind of you know boring in a way just trying to make fun with like the cars, the few cars that I actually wanted to race and stuff. But anyways, this uh, may or may not be the end of the vlog. Um, maybe I'll finish it with a little car wash scene. Maybe I won't, I don't know. But anyways, if this is it, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next video. Alright guys, so I decided um, 
I'll finish this video off with a little um, parts, um, I guess, unboxing. Because we have a few parts that I've done that I haven't showed you guys. So, first off, this right here, I'm going to tell you what it's for um, and what it is. So, this is for the Mark III, the blue Mark III. That is, that is in the shot. Anyways, I got a call. Sorry, guys. Um, this this is for the Mark III. Uh, if I can get it open. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Throw this away. It's a. Uh, set of hoods, hood lifts, or hood struts, so that I don't have to have the, uh, the stupid, you know, the stupid uh, bar thing, whatever. So they're a set of polished ones. Mm, nice, right? And it's got all the uh, hardware right here and everything, so pretty excited about that but I won't be throwing that on the car until it's literally done um, so that's one of the parts I got I know what the big brown box is but I'm not sure what the white one is to be honest I don't remember but we will find out so this big brown one here. Let's see. Need a knife. Okay, got a knife. Hmm. Okay. Packages this really well. So this is for the Mark Three. Oh. something I've been waiting for for a very long time I think yep well, if it's what I think it is and it sure is it's gonna be my euro cup mirrors oh let me open one of these real quick for y'all Packages them good. Well, of course, these are going to be painted, but look at that. That's so sick. Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay, now the glass package. Now this is the one I said I don't know what it is. I think. Ah, wow, we got here a lot quicker than I thought. These are for the Mark V. Let's see. So this is a tool to remove the OEM ones. And this is what they are. They are the sequential turn signals. I, I have been waiting for these. I'm super excited about it, actually. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nothing else. There's a little key. Hmm. I'll have to look up how to remove these and install them because I don't want to break anything. But sequential turn signals are here finally and uh, we will more than likely install them today if I uh, figure out how to do it it's not too hard but yeah guys that's a little parts that I've uh, 
gotten over the past couple weeks. Um, but I just haven't had the time to show y'all or didn't want to show y'all just one. These are a few, so thought it was worth this video. So yeah, catch you guys later. All right, guys, what's going on? It's the same night. Um, I decided that I wanted to put the turns on tonight because I can't wait. So we are headed to the car wash right now and we will install them before we wash the car. So I'll see y'all in a couple of minutes. All right, guys, so like I showed you in the box earlier, it basically comes with the lights, a little prying tool and a, a T10 um, because these lights are held in by three uh, t10s so let me just get started i don't really want to do like a tutorial on this because it's a pretty simple job basically you'll pop off the caps with the pry tool bum bum and there'll be one two three screws pop it down and then you'll clip off this cover and then the light will come off and bam backwards but let me show you a little before so that's the before and let me turn the turn signals on so that's what they looked like before this is the broken one so that's what we'll be replacing the emergencies, babe. Oh. Oh, that looks badass. There's one of them in. Oh, that looks nice. Compared to that. Oh, yeah, it looks way better. All right guys, so there's the car, finally all cleaned up. Look at these turn signals. Oh my God, hell yeah. All right guys, so this will be the end of the video. Um, I'm just gonna dry this car up and call it a night because I am, now I am exhausted. So I will see you guys maybe tomorrow or the following day. And um, thank you guys so much for the support for watching the videos and the ones that do comment and like the videos, I appreciate y'all. And um, you know, we have more content coming, so stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video, bye.